Hey, buddy. Good session yesterday. Just a couple of things to point out now as to reasons why that across the line is sometimes coming in more than we want. I'm sure with practicing that drill that we showed you, you'll be eliminating that in the future and getting rid of some of those wild shots that you were getting. Main reasons we said, feet as you swing the golf club back, the weight tends to go a little bit forward on the feet, just putting a bit too much weight on the tiptoes. As a result of that, your sort of counterbalance now is for your hands and arms to go too far behind you, and that gets the club across the line. It'd be very difficult at this point in the swing for your arms to continue to work up a little bit, keeping that club laid off as the weight goes forward onto your toes. So you see the knees with a flexing forward, just squatting down, putting a lot more weight and balance onto these parts of the feet. As a result, the hands get behind, club gets too deep, and we're across the line. So if we look here now, on the right, we've just got to go just swing the top of the back string and stop. You can see as a result to try and stay balanced. You can see the club now, yes, it's a lot shorter back swing because you're only going statically, but we're keeping the club now more online. You could at least continue that club there into a fuller position. We'd be in that position, aiming down the target line. And the weight now is equally balanced throughout the arch of the feet. So from here now, we're able to drive the club back in the golf ball. There's a lot more room now for your arms to swing. You're not going to get so stuck because the butt of the club is coming down in this way more as opposed to too far from the inside and getting out into out. So this is you're coming in now, much more room for the arms to swing, a lot less trap. We can just clear and rotate the body and hit the nice part of the golf club rather than the club coming in from too far inside. You can see there now trying to pull your arms in that club shaft now a long way behind the hands, making it very difficult for you to get back into the hitting area and you're sort of pulling across the ball. And unfortunately, if that's the case, sometimes we can get some of them. So work on that practice drill. Swing the top and stop so you can feel the weight more towards your right heel, as you said. That's where you felt it was. In reality, it's more towards the middle part of your feet. But with a bit of practice, I'm sure you'll start finding that feeling correct. Getting that club more down the line, a bit more laid off, rather than across the line quite so much. So hope that all makes sense, buddy. Any questions, obviously give me a shout, and I will see you soon.